Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've had a lot of you guys ask me to do a tutorial on how to make these custom water bottles. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way that I found. So I found a way to make these water bottle labels without having to use any kind of cutting machine. So I found these pre-cut labels on Amazon and they're already cut to size to fit the water bottles. The only thing you have to do is design them online. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. The labels that I'm using are from Mr. Label and I bought these on Amazon. These labels do come with a template. So to find the template, you wanna go to mrlabel.com and then you're gonna hover over where it says templates. Click on US letter sheet and then you're gonna choose rectangle with square corners. Then you're gonna scroll until you find this template label. So the water bottle template has five labels on it. So you're gonna scroll until you find the page that has five rectangles on it. For me, it was on the second page. So once you find the template, you can choose how you want to design it. So it has a lot of different design options, but I like to use the Canva one because that's what I'm most familiar with. So I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to click on design now. If you don't know how, they do have a tutorial on there as well. Click on use template for new design. Once it's loaded, I like to zoom in so I can get a really good view of my image. So I'm just going to zoom all the way into one of those rectangles. And then you can start designing. The theme for my son's birthday party is cars. So I'm gonna click on elements and type in racing check. Once you do that, I'm gonna click on graphics and find one that I like. This is the one that I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and resize it until it fits the size of that um, rectangle. To make sure that the design is not distorted and it's even, I'm gonna make sure that it fits the dimensions of that rectangle. And then I'm just gonna click on it and duplicate it and um, just repeat that pattern over the size of the rectangle. If you want just a plain color background, then when you go to elements, you can click on square. Once you click on square, you'll be able to change the color of the square and you can just adjust it to the size of that rectangle. Since the background of my labels are pretty busy, I'm gonna put a focus point in the center. So I'm gonna go to elements and type in tire because like I said, his theme is cars. And once I click the tire, I'm gonna resize it until it fills up the center of that, um, of that rectangle. Once the tire is centered, I'm gonna go back to elements and type in circle, and I'm gonna add a circle to the center of that tire. I'm gonna resize it and place it right in the center, and once I do that, I'm gonna change that color to white so I have a nice clean background. Next, I'm gonna click on text and then add a heading. I'm gonna type in my son's name and change the font. To do this, I'm gonna resize it to fit the center of that, of that circle, and then I'm gonna select the font, and the font I chose for this one is Santana Black Regular. After I change the font, I'm gonna go ahead and change that color. I wanted this to be red, so I'm gonna change it to a bright red and add an outline to it. To add the outline, I'm gonna click Effects and then I'm gonna click on Outline. I'm gonna change that color to black and then I'm just gonna adjust the size to my liking. Next, I'm gonna click on Text again and then add a heading. I'm gonna type in Happy and change the font to this uh, Magneto Bold font. I don't think this came with Canva. I think I downloaded this from dafont.com. Once I have that to size, I'm gonna change the color of it. And the color I want this to be is black. I wanna add birthday as well. So to do that, I'm gonna click on that happy and then duplicate it. Once I duplicate it, I'm gonna type in birthday and then I'm gonna resize it to fit underneath my son's name. And that's gonna save a lot of time because you don't have to um, change the font and the color of anything. Next, I'm gonna add my nutrition facts. So I have this under uploads because I bought these on Etsy a while back. I'm gonna go ahead and resize these and then I'm gonna fit them on one side of the water bottle. You can choose whichever side you prefer. I use the same ones for my chip bags as well. So once I have it to size, I need there to be a white background behind it because you're not gonna be able to see that text on there. So to do that, I'm gonna click on elements and type in square. I'm gonna click on rectangle and I'm gonna change that color to white. Once I do that, I'm gonna adjust the size of that square to fit behind that nutrition fact. I'm actually almost done designing. So next I'm gonna go to uploads and I'm gonna add one of the cartoon characters on here. So I have this image of Lightning McQueen that I got online. I'm gonna click on that and add that to my water bottle label. I need to resize this image of Lightning McQueen. So I'm gonna drag the corner until it's to size. I also need to remove the background. So to do that, you're gonna click on edit image and background remover. You have to have Canva Premium to use the background remover. So if you don't have it, they do have a seven day free trial you can use. 
I want to add an outline to make Lightning McQueen stand out. So I'm going to click on Edit Image, then I'm going to click on Shadow. I'm going to add an outline and change the size of it, and I want this outline to be white. Now that this design is complete, I'm going to drag my arrow over the full design that I made. Then I'm going to right click and group them all together. Once I group them together, I'm going to duplicate that image so I can add them onto each one of the five slots for the labels. I want different characters on each label, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the Lightning McQueen from a few of them and add a few of the other characters onto those as well. Now we need to remove that template and you can do this one of two ways. So the first way is to click on the background, click on those three dots and then select uh, detach image from background. Once you do that, you can delete it. Another way is to click on the background as well and then you can click on transparency and lower it to zero and the background is also removed that way. You can choose whichever you prefer, but once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and download your image, change it to PDF for printing, and I'm gonna change my uh, color profile to CYMK, and that's just because of my, uh, my printer. So I'm gonna click on download, and once I download it, I'm gonna go ahead and print it off on my computer. Once your labels are printed off, this is what they should look like. Adding the labels to the water bottles are way easier than designing them. So the first thing you want to do is take your water bottles, and I just buy the cheap ones like the Great Value or um, like Kroger brand water bottles. And as you know, those the labels are super easy to take off. So I just peel those labels off and put them to the side. Because the labels are pre-cut, the only thing you have to do is take your label and peel it from the side, and it'll come completely off of that backing. When placing the label onto the water bottle, I like to align the top of the label with the very top ridge of the water bottle. This helps it stay straight. I lay the bottle on a flat surface and then I use my ring finger and my pinky finger to hold the bottle straight while I place the label on the center. Then I slowly attach one side of the water bottle and once that's on there, I smooth it out and then I move on to the second side. If your label becomes crooked somehow, you can easily peel back that label and reattach it. And that's literally all you have to do to make your water bottle labels. Now this label paper says that it's waterproof, so I'm gonna test it into water and I'm gonna come right back. So this is the label before I place it in any water. So I put it into water for about an hour and after an hour, this is what the label was looking like. So when I put the water bottle into the water, the black ink started to fade immediately. And at first I was like, oh my God, what happened? What did I do wrong? But I looked at the website and it literally says on the website that with black ink, sometimes it just doesn't stick to the paper. That's just how black ink works. So it said, um, if you're gonna use black ink to use some kind of sealant on top of it. Now, if I would have read that before, I would have avoided that, but I didn't see it until after I made the video. But overall, I give this method of thumbs up because A is super easy and the only issue I had was the black ink and literally that was user error. Leave a comment and let me know what you want to see me make next and as always don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!